font là Ils jouent à quoi Ah, division. Ouais. Ils ont attaqué tôt la, la préconf Oh euh, bah, 45 minutes avant en fait. Mec, il faut, il faut un screenshot, what the fuck. C'est quoi ça, le sniper qui éclate l'hélicoptère Oh non mais je dis pas le contraire mais... Mais bon, c'est quoi ce jeu de skate là? C'est Steep, hein? C'est Steep. Je crois que Fantel y avait joué. Oui, sûrement. Il, Il a un Let's Il... Sleep dessus. <rire> Il était gratuit là, c'est trop joueur. Il a pas de crétin. Putain, t'as de l'avance sur mon truc, c'est fou. Ah, je viens de le mettre, c'est peut-être pour ça. Ouais, je recharge. Toi, ça fait un moment que tu l'as. Qu'est-ce qu'il fait N'importe quoi. Mais. Là, je vois un bouclier entier émeute. Ah, tu as pas nous. Moi, je suis à. Je... Merde, bah, le jeu de chevalier. Là. Ah, bah, putain. Bon, on se pas... enfin, Je réfléchis encore une fois. Quand c'est que je veux t'en avance Pourtant, t'as une meilleure coup que moi. Ouais, je sais pas. Ah mais attends, je dois avoir un deuxième stream ouvert, un truc du genre. Peut-être. Merde, j'ai quitté le, le stream. Vite, vite. Ok, là je vois des petites voitures. Là, là une formule à crever. Là je vois des voitures de... Bon, si on tente, c'est une police de Chicago, c'est ça. C'est ça, allô Allô ah. Oui, pardon, tu me disais <rire> Non, là, je te disais, je vois une autre vieille voiture. Enfin, là, je vois un euh, vieux jeu, on dirait. Moi, je vois un drone, là. Ouais, pareil. Ah, oh, c'est bon. C'est quoi, ce jeu Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça Oh là là. C'est Weshdog ah Watch Dogs j'avais kiffé moi le j'avais on avait joué au 1 là c'était bugué mais bon <rire> j'ai kiffé jouer en ligne puis j'ai les mecs et tout là c'était des débat oh, moi je trouvais trop que c'était de la merde ce jeu moi je kiffais aller te cacher et tout là <rire> on faisait tellement la pute dans ce jeu mais ah d'accord ah oh, c'est bugué Oh, c'est qui suis je... Fragile. <rire> Qu'est-ce que c'est ce coup de fragile Oh, Justin, oh my god. Justin, ouais. Avec un piercing dégueulasse aux lèvres. Attends. Ubisoft. Ah. Je crois que j'entends de l'écho dans le tour avec Lexi. Ah, merci Lotus de niquer mon... J'ai pas encore fini, euh, je me colle là maintenant. Et sinon je vais faire du bruit, je vais mâcher tout, ça va vous énerver. Je finis de manger et euh, je reviens euh, parler, enfin je me démute. Ok. 
Ça va se connecter. Comme ça, Comme ça je te nique pas ton layout. Voilà. Ok, bon. Regardez-moi tous ces journalistes. Il a les cheveux derrière, donc c'est bon. Ouvert. <rire> ah, Yvgimo, Yvgimo. Yves, je crois que l'honneur est vous pouvez faire les honneurs, s'il vous plaît. Bien sûr. Laissez les jeux commencer. Laissez les jeux commencer. Il y a un chinois qui parle anglais, tu sais. Oh my god. Au moins il commence à l'heure. Tu vois pas tout de l'heure. C'est qui part. Je vais crever. Ah, la vaincre Mario. Ok, d'accord, super direct. Ah, Vincent. Regardez-moi ce beau Vincent. <rire> Moi, ça me fait rigoler à chaque fois. <rire> J'en vois. C'est un con Ah non, je crois qu'il avait plus de tête. <rire> Putain, il a bien en français. Yves Guillaume. Bah oui, il est français. Il est bon temps. Voilà, Miyamoto. Oh oui oh. <rire> Putain, le bon vrai <rire> Comme chaque année. Ah, il va avoir un meilleur accent encore que le français. On va toujours le beau compteur. Ah, bah là, il marque un gros bien. coup, quand même. Ouais, c'est là. Je ne comprends pas. 
Sir. We are so happy to have you today. So what what have you brought oh, with you? Well, what did you bring? <laughs> this is a life-size replica. Oh, one of the weapons from this game. Oh, the guy behind has hesitated. Cool, I'm sure you love it. <laughs> this is incredible. It's going to work. Okay. C'est lourd. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Merci. So. <laughs> C'est mon 80 euros. Ouais, ça va être départ, on arrive avec la pêche. Ça va être départ. I'm, I'm so proud of Ubisoft's long-standing collaboration with Nintendo. You know, from the DS to the Wii, and uh, more recently for the impressive launch of the Switch. You know, it has always been. We have always been inspired by Nintendo. Ah, cet accent, je crois que même moi, à l'oral d'anglais, j'ai pas fait ça. Ça lâche un peu Nintendo là, quand même. Ah, après, ils font toujours des partenariats. T'entends pas, je m'en bats, putain. Qui moi Quoi, c'est que si tu montres le son, dès que tu vas parler, t'as tes oreilles. Ah, je crois que Skype a craché. Pourquoi Ah, pourtant, je suis à fond, mec. Non, mais je sais pas. Non, mais c'est bon, t'inquiète. Je parlerai un peu plus fort. Mais pas trop. Putain, ils sont tarés ces japonais. <rire> Les têtes qui font. Ah, t'as vu, là, il a un pils. Euh... Switch. Ouais, Switch, je sais. Mais que euh, le meilleur spin-off. Ah, il y a le Tus. Ouais. But of course, I've known the Rabbids characters for many years, and I have many Rabbids figures decorating my desk. En fait, c'est de la lèche là qui font. En fait, dans le sens où théoriquement il devrait y avoir Beyond Good and Evil 2 à la fin, et qui était prévu sur Wii U, et qu'au final il sera peut-être prévu partout, ils sont arrangés de ça, comme ça quoi. So when I met uh, Davide San, who is the uh, creative director of this game, <laughs> c'est qui lui, le directeur du jeu? Yes. Uh, when I when I met Davide San, I had just just one condition. Il chante le pot. Ouais. Il y a beaucoup face à moi. Je comprends rien à ce qu'il dit. Don't try to make a, a jump game or a Mario platformer. Try to make a Mario game that has never been made before. <laughs> and it's great. And I can tell you, it was an exciting, very uh, exciting challenge for all our teams. And I think we've done something you will love. Mais bonne chance pour ce jeu vidéo euh, de qualité euh, sur Switch. Waouh. Waouh. Um, and of course, Ubisoft is very good at making action games, uh, but this game in particular has a great layer of strategy and tactics to it, uh, but with a very good pace. Yeah, no, it's, it's going to be fresh, actually. Uh, so now let's welcome Xavier, you know. Oh, the, the <laughs> welcome <laughs> Xavier. <laughs> C'est Xavier. Wow. <laughs> Thanks again, Xavier de Fru, il a.
Let's welcome Zed. Finally. Finally, we can talk about this project. Xavier Monzoy. So we've been working on this game for more than three years now, and uh, to be at E3 today, on this stage, is just uh, super exciting. So, what is this game exactly? So Mario plus Rabbit's <coughs> Kingdom Battle is a tactical adventure, exclusive for the Nintendo Switch, and let's check right away some gameplay. Wee. C'est l'heure de débarquer quand même. Il y a moins que ça soit grave stylé. Hein. Moi j'aime bien pour l'instant. Moi j'aime bien l'univers. Hein. Toi ce décor là, tout ça, j'adore. Ah, je trouve que c'est pas si C'est ultra important, c'est trop bon. Moi en plus, je kiffe les lapins crétins, ils sont tellement cons ces trucs. Mec, euh, j'adore ça. Genre, c'est vraiment le meilleur truc. <rire> Regarde Luigi! <rire> ah, des Ah, des barres! Et à first, ils ne connaissent pas each other, mais in the end, ils vont former this uh, dream team that will potentially save the Mushroom Kingdom. Ils vont pas nous faire acheter une Switch avec ça quand même. <rire> bah écoute. À tout moment, ils revendent la, ils vendent la Switch avec ça. Moi je vais en bas de l'an. Je vais en bas de l'édition si collector. Un ah, mec c'est waouh. Moi la seule console de salon de Nintendo que j'ai acheté c'est la Gamecube donc. Euh... <rire> Gamecube, euh, oui. Nintendo 64. Et enfin, la Switch c'est pas une console, c'est un grippin. Ah, ah je crois que c'est un micro-ondes, pardon. Et je sais acheter la Wii U. C'est important de voir. Moi j'attendrai que la Switch descende en moins de 100 On attendra la prochaine console, je crois. Ouais. Ah, c'est quoi ce Mec, c'est un. Ouais, énorme. Mec, c'est un tactical en fait. Ah, c'est sympa. Un colère PG. Et nous avons aussi ce que nous appelons Team Jump. Donc, avec tout le moment, vous pouvez expandre votre zone de mouvement. Donc, ici, Rabbit Peach, utilisant Mario, vous pouvez aussi flanguer l'ennemi. Flanguer l'ennemi. Oh, trop bien. Alors, c'est un Worms, euh, Worms 3D, quoi. Ouais, j'allais dire ça, hein, on dirait un Worms. Dans l'univers de Mario et tout, ça peut être sympa. Hein. <rire> J'aime bien les tuyaux comme ça. Ah, y'a moins que ce soit cool. En let's play, je pense que je vais m'amuser à regarder ça. Bah, je pense que y a grave bon. Et qu'il est vénère la Mario. Au con. Il a disparu dans la matrice. And what we see uh, here is actually an uh, exposition <laughs> cover. So those have many type of uh, super effects. Yeah. And this one was a push effect. So you can push... Oh, le bon gameplay, le bon gameplay. So again, this is just a glimpse into the basics of the game. And as you progress into the game, uh, you have more tactic tools. You'll be able to do more combo setups. Wobble. You'll be able to use different type of heroes, different type of weapons. In order to battle your way through uh, the kingdom. Je peux attendre un vrai shooter, non En fait, non, non, pas du tout. Oh, 
Oh l'aspirateur euh, de Luigi. De Luigi une mention. And that's just uh, a glimpse into the game itself. But um, first oh. and foremost, oh, bon. this is a project done with passion, non. with our hearts. So it ah, okay, was not a good one. So we just wait for you guys just two collections. For those who are not at E3, you'll see online coverage, videos, oh. and surprises. So have a great conference. Have a great E3. Thank you. On dirait du plastique, Mario. Oh my god, ça c'est un nul chez lui. Il a fait chaud. Ah <rire> euh, Lui c'est le petit Kevin. <rire> Mec, j'adore. Ah, t'es mal <rire> Le mec, le design est vraiment trop bien. Mais du ACDC presque. <rire> Mais j'espère qu'il y aura un online par contre. <rire> ah, ça a l'air bien les décors là, franchement. Mais qui est mieux, qui est jouable. Ça ressemble. Oh, Peach, ça va quelque chose dans ce jeu. Mec, euh, c'est rare qu'elle a de vaste défense. Bah, dans notre oh. dernière, tu peux la jouer. Hein. C'est vrai. Oh, les persos ils font très plastique, j'aime pas le rendu. Hein. Ah, donc, okay, quoi. Oula. Oh, la bonne haleine. Tic tac. Ah, le 29 août. <rire> <rire> Elle est ah, déjà finie. La conférence est déjà finie. Hein. On, va... on, va... Allez. on a ce qu'on voulait. Il faut attendre 3 heures. Ah, avec un, ont... ah, un jeu, ils ont mieux fait que Devolver Digital. Oui. Ah. Digital. Il y a eu des gros trucs euh, sur les confs euh, que j'ai pas vu. Donc, euh, ah, ouais. C'était nul ce matin. Ah, mais que ce matin, je me suis levé, j'avais mis mon réveil. Et au final, je me suis endormi. <rire> Oh my god. Mais en plus, on a vu euh, les boîtes édition collector il y a pas longtemps. C'est du harcèlement. Ouais. And for all newcomers, we wanted to go back, very far back, to show how it all began. Since Black Flag, over the last three and a half years, we have poured our energy, our talent, our passion into bringing the land of pyramids, pharaohs, and mummies to life, to bring ancient Egypt to life. Now, Egypt challenged us. It fundamentally challenged us to reinvent what it means to be Assassin's Creed. And over the next few days, you will see, play, and feel this reinvented experience. Non, non, si si c'est vraiment chiant. I am <coughs> deeply honored and proud. Non, il peut pas faire plus que ce matin. C'est qu'il met du multijoueur comme dans Unity. Phenomenal team. And thrilled to finally be able to show you this beast. We have been building. C'est le best. best. Here is a taste of Egypt.
Comment ça Ça veut dire quoi euh, Actual et in-game footage. Bah, c'est in-game. C'est le jeu, quoi. Il sort quand euh, 15 novembre, moi, je crois. Oh my god, sur son YouTube. Pour l'instant, le jeu est pas mal. This is the demo that we will be showing on the, the show floor here at E3. Oh, Bayek is riding into the Fayoum, one hey, of the, the regions in Egypt, the most southernmost region. It's a, a beautiful area. We see we've come in from the desert, moving towards this uh, Lake Morris. And uh, let's have a little exploration hey, right here using the eagle. It's sunny on the lake and it's sunny on the monitor here, but folks, this looks really good. It's running on an Xbox One X. We'll be giving you the gameplay feed after the show. We've got 30 minutes of that coming up, but uh, let's see if we can see from a bird's eye view what Senu is up to. Yeah, so Senu is uh, looking into this military camp and tagging a few enemies here. After, after the show, we will infiltrate this camp and take it out either through stealth or combat or perhaps ranged weaponry. All right, if you guys want to see more of this, be sure to tune in right after the conference. Chris and I and Carl here will be right here. Ash will be joining us as well. You won't want to miss it. That 30 ah, minutes live game is coming up after the show, but for now, it's back to the stage and on with the excitement. That's it for now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello. So, Ouais. Ah. Je crois que je me concentrer. Non, je vais me concentrer pour écrire un message. Ah, le 27 octobre. Il a envie de tu sais quoi Ouais, bah ouais. Et Vincent, il vient pas alors Euh, je sais pas. Oula, il y a plus de niveau. Non. C'est quoi ça Ah, c'est The Crew. Il était que là, ce garçon. C'est pas très. Wow. Après, ça, c'est pas du game. Ouais. C'est une systématique, hein. Okay. On est dans Inception, là, ou quoi <rire> Oui. <rire> Pour un jeu des trains. <rire> Pour un jeu des trains. <rire> Pour jouer le tuk-tuk en Inde. Ah bon, faut jouer des avions aussi, c'est fou. Master Trek. 
Hein, pardon. C'est un effet de style, ça. Life social. Oh mec, euh, tu pourras même mettre des... des coups de... Le gameplay, euh... bah, on n'a rien vu <rire> pour l'instant. C'est juste une seule chose. Ah, mais gars, on va nous montrer nous le vrai jeu. Si vous Il pas de jaquette, mais que c'est quoi cette merde? The driving genre out there. To the big, wide, open world of the USA. Thanks to our players, we have taken this iconic vision to the next level. Bon, bien, next level aussi. Hein. <rire> and what they wanted to see in the future. J'ai un balai dans le cul et je ne sais pas parler anglais. En attendant, si vraiment tu veux des avions tout ça, c'est cool. Stéphane Belay, creative director. Stéphane, bonjour, je suis Stéphane. <rire> yeah. Je travaille chaud. Hein. Car du pas c'est pas Oh my god. Lotus il a réagi au mot bigger. <rire> 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 C'est ma la pointure qui fait de je suis plus que toi Mathieu non Non mais là c'est on va tirer les Mon gars il a des palmes Quand je vois The Crew je pense à Terry Crew euh, qu'on a vu euh, hier ah, ou ce matin <rire> Oh non les mecs Oh le mec ils ont roulé sur la feuille ça va pas bouger. De toute façon il vient de m'envoyer un snap, j'espère qu'il a une bonne raison de pas être là. La gastro. Oh, il m'envoie des cœurs ce PD. Dude c'est bouger le cul de venir. Quoi que non lui il a stage. Non. Et Vincent bouge ton cul de venir s'il te plaît. Et arrête de m'envoyer des cœurs s'il te plaît. Bon, okay. Mais s'il a un stage là, c'est pas grave. Euh, il viendra pas ce soir. Ah, c'est. Montrez-vous le jeu, putain. Waouh, 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 wow. j'ai des couilles. Oh my god. Après, je vous reconnais que c'est un BR. Je... Putain, moi j'y joue pas. Oh, je... Le dernier jeu de voiture que j'ai joué à fond, c'était Need for Speed uh, Moss Wanted 2. Donc, euh... Moi c'était Mario Kart 3DS. <rire> ouais, ouais, <rire> bon. Mario Kart 8, moi. <rire> T'as rendu compte, les gars, j'ai même pas joué à Mario Kart 8. Tu l'as honte, monsieur. Moi j'aurais kiffé en plus Mario Kart 8. Jouer Après, niveau des bruitages, c'est bien fait là. Fort le bruit du moteur la montgolfière un peu. <rire> ah, c'est <rire> 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 
Rapid waters or narrow rivers. Ah, par contre, si tu peux faire toutes les côtes américaines en bateau, ça c'est cool. Wow. Dans les Everglades là. Ah, la texture est dégueulasse. Oh, les gouttes, on aurait dit des pâtés, mon gars. Ouais. <rire> non, tu te fais de C'est un sticker. <rire> Avion Je te crée de boule là, avec tes trucs gonflables. Stang euh, Il fait délirer avec son accent. C'est quand même osé de mettre des avions après des tours quand même. Là, il y en a qui s'écrasent dessus. Enlevez cet écran blanc, <rire> monsieur Ce matin, c'était ça, tu sais, oh, le... Genre, dès qu'il y avait un truc blanc, ah Je me suis la tête pour... <rire> Tout à l'heure, ça va être ça aussi. Vincent, Vincent il a dit qu'il qu était en train de t'aimer un film. Il regarde quoi, Camping 2 sur TMC Oh mec, bah, je vais vous quitter pour regarder ça, alors. Ah, bien sûr. Register now. Pour accès à la Ah, ok, début de Mais PS4 Pro et Xbox One X. Mec, c'est un peu, un peu pour un daron quand même. Mec, je te cache pas que sa pointure euh, de pied, ça fait au moins de 55 ans. <rire> Mais c'est du sur-mesure. Tu enfants sans pied dans ton cul, mon gars. Euh, ah, je oui. pense que on marche plus jamais de ta vie. Ça, c'est ce Spark. Sur les trois générations d'après aussi. Ouais, ouais. <rire> Est-ce que c'est le Stick of Truth 2 Mais Non, c'est le truc des super-héros, je crois. <rire> ah ouais, il y avait la démo. Ouais. Je pas te passer 50 ans dessus, quand Moi je veux jouer moi je veux jouer chef. Ça va se voir. C'est parti pour combien d'heures de conférence Je sais pas. Je sais pas, je pense que pour une heure. Son niveau 2. Le mec, c'est PlayStation qui a 3 heures après. Ouais. Oh mec, je dois me relever dans la nuit. Oh, il prend 3 heures, Sony Ouais. Hein Ils sont à 3 heures. Non, mais ils font pas. Non, mais je... je te demandais s'ils faisaient 3 heures. Non, non, il faut faire une heure et demie. Oh, mais. Ah. Oh, je vais être mort demain matin, Matt. 
Non, ça, ça tombe avec ma chance, le fait. <rire> Il me croit que tu viens me parler moins d'avant, je vais rien comprendre. Ah Codon Sam Rentrons à la comté <rire> Ah, mais c'est Harry Potter Eh oui, c'est l'acteur de. C'est Frodon <rire> Non, je te dis c'est Harry Potter et tu me fais oui <rire> Non Qu'est-ce que c'est Ah, c'est une vieille télé je kifferais avoir une télé comme ça, moi. Pardon. Je ce truc en VR. Oula. Ah, c'est pas par la normal activity. What you were experiencing is a recorded Personne ne regarde la télé sur un oscilloscope. Sinon, vous êtes quel rang sur euh, Magic Apple Jump Moi, je suis rang rien parce que je l'ai pas. Ok, d'accord. C'est du vent. Oh. Waterland. Waterland. <rire> non, Waterworld. Putain, Waterland. C'est Waterland. <rire> oh, oui. Waterland. Le retour. Il y a un niveau 2. <rire> Il me tue avec son accent. Super talented. Arrête de dire 5. 5 Q là, ils disent des S à la place des C. C. En plus, on nous apprend bien. 5. C'est un DLC pour. Pour un an. En 1721 <rire> Oh, Madagascar, j'y étais. Il y a deux ans. Ouais. C'est un défi pour Black Flag, lol. <rire> Oh mec, ça serait pas Waterland 2. Si <rire> c'est ça. <rire> non, c'est toi. Waterland. Attends. Pirates des Caraïbes, 92 000. Si c'est un Assassin's je suis par terre. Ah oh non. Il s'en serait capable, c'est con. Tu imagines 15 ans après un DLC sur Black Flag. <rire> Le jeu, il sort des DLC 20 ans après. Vaut mieux tard que jamais. Ce serait hein. quand même bien drôle. Il y avait des rumeurs sur un truc, sur un, des séquences d'Assassin's Creed où il y avait une femme en bateau. Il y a un aigle, attention. C'est quoi cette merde C'est le Nord. Oh my god. Il y a Jackie Chan qui a fait. Je vais te couper la tête. Sa mère. Craneos. 
D'accord. C'est intéressant pour Black Flag. En fait, le mec c'était JDG. Ouais, ouais, c'est ce que je voulais dire. That's how long the average pirate survived a lawless life on the seas during the golden age of piracy. I'm Justin Farron, the creative director for Skull and Bones. Ah, and this is your chance to not just survive, but to climb the food chain and surpass the legend of every pirate who ever sailed the high seas. Since bringing innovative naval combat to Assassin's Creed, we at Ubisoft Singapore have set out to bring you the ultimate pirate experience. A tactical action game where we take that naval combat to the next level, mastering the ocean and its winds at the helm of ships armed to the teeth. Skull and Bones takes place in a shared systemic world where you can sail solo or form a gang of pirates with your friends and together terrorize the trade routes of the Indian Ocean. Season after season, you'll collaborate and compete with other bloodthirsty players, even execute ruthless betrayals in order to become the ultimate pirate kingpin. Now I'm proud to share with you the Loot Hunt, one of Skull and Bones' five versus five team-based PvP modes. Right on, right? We've just received intel that merchant convoys rich with treasure are sailing just off the coast of Madagascar. pirates also looking to plunder the PvP disputed waters of the Indian Ocean. The Priscilla's shallows of Madagascar, located on the cusp of a bustling trade route, it is the perfect place for an ambush. Here is our gang of pirates, the raiders, going head to head with a gang of rival players, the cutthroats. Victory goes to the team with the most loot at the end of the game. In fact, it's the Black Flag in combat at multi. Yeah, that's it, putain. Knowing how to sail the division is a pirate's most precious skill. Use the winds to increase your speed or to position yourself for tactical advantage in battle. To reap the most rewards, it is best to split up. Some going inland, others keeping to the open sea. Each warship has unique strengths. The frigate's hull is reinforced, its arsenal equipped with numerous culverin cannons. The brigantine is devastating up close, with a battering ram designed to break any resistance. Oh, ouais, putain, Après moi je, les jeux de tactical comme ça je, je ça me ça me gave. C'est pas pour moi. Si ça te gave alors. Ah mais tu vois j'ai l'impression d'avoir déjà joué à ce jeu quoi. Mmh, ouais. Parce que c'est c'est assez ce train. <rire> <rire> Don't let bloodlust cloud your purpose. You're here for the loot, and so are your rivals. Store the goods, then back to your station. The team that escapes with the most loot claims victory. It's exactly the same discussion for Black Flag. The mec à droite. C'est juste un, c'est juste un peu plus poussé quoi. Searching for more targets on the horizon. Our sloop of war spots a rival pirate ship. They've put a counter kilometer on the boats. They've put a bar of life on the boats. And that's because the bar of life is also on the black flag. Ah. Ah, it's already pretty good, a counter kilometer. And I'm just going to get the sense. Ha! Too many minutes. Putain, les, les drapeaux comme ils... Enfin, les vols. Les drapeaux. Putain, le mec, il sait pas. Ah, lui, il est espagnol. Oh, mais en même temps, au niveau de piraterie, encore, oh, qu'il y a des espagnols. <rire> ouais, quoi. 
trop de temps. Mais qui conduit ça comme un 38 tonnes, tu Ah, ok, sauf que le nom d'abordage, c'est tu joues pas. Sacrificing herself to buy time for the frigate who carries the most loot. The frigate now needs to make its escape through the reefs. Captain, that's back for the reefs! Successful pirates know when to run, with their hulls full and the wind at their backs. Je vois d'ici le DLC avec euh, Edouard. Thank you all very much. I'd like to invite you to play the loot hunt at the Ubisoft booth at E3. And please register for our live phases online. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention. The world of Skull and Bones is one that evolves. When you act, it reacts. Encore, c'est bon, on l'a vu le jeu. Il présente 15 fois, tu sais. Okay. Automne 2018, ouais, ta mère. Ça ne servait à rien de vous montrer ça. Ça, je comprends pas ça. Ah, c'est Josette. Oh putain. Le moment chien. Par contre, la musique elle est bien. C'est Jamie Rockway. Yeah, c'est trop fort. Eh, hey, c'est habillé comme dans Mortal Kombat. <rire> c'est sub zéro. Bon, déjà, il y a un nouveau site graphique. Mmh. C'est dans ce bien. Non Mais quand on fait venir chaque fois Ah non, même pas. Oh ah, pitié 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 Ouais euh... J'adore la jupe pas Je suis sûrement faire strike et... C'est quoi ce truc de dégueulasse? Arrêtez! Arrêtez! Ah, Il y en a qui filment! Ouais. Professier! On 
sais pas qui c'est celle-là, ok. Pipi. Ah, ça a bugué, regarde. Ouais. Je fais du playback parce que je sais pas chanter. Même à The Voice, il chante mieux. <rire> C'est horrible. On a vu le micro de moi, s'il vous plaît. <rire> Merci pour les droits d'auteur. And Just Dance 2018 is out this October on all consoles. Bye. Merci. Ah, J'ai empoché mon chèque de 3 ah, millions. Sur, sur PS360. Oula. <rire> Genre le truc qui va sortir sur PS2. Sur Wii, mec. <rire> It's your music player, your flashlight, calculator, and GPS navigation device. But now, finally, the most high-tech company in the world has unlocked the mobile phone's true potential so that it can do what it was truly meant to do. We are playing cowboys and Indians. <laughs> cool. Hey, new kid, we need you to come play with us. Put on some cowboy shit and meet us outside. And bring your phone! <laughs> Il y a de la Diable 2. La main noire Payante de la Diable 2. Atlas, Jewel of the Pleiades. Nova took us to the stars. C'est Star Wars. Each new world is more incredible than the last. C'est fou, mais on a vu trois écrans, c'est déjà mieux que le Mad Sky. Quoi Qu'est-ce que c'est que ce Ouah Mais dis pas qu'il faut des Skylander aussi. Mais Kabak On dirait pas un intercepteur Jedi. Ouais. Ça, ça y est, du pauvre. Ah, c'est le mec de PS3, ça. T'imagines jouer avec une figurine sur ta manette je peux pas faire un doc comme euh, comme Skylander. Starlink. C'est dégueulasse. C'est pas, c'est pas bien. Hi, I'm Matt Rose, producer at Ubisoft Toronto. Like many of you, I grew up in the 80s, obsessed with sci-fi, animation, comics, and of course, all the really cool toys. At Ubisoft Toronto, 
We built a team with a dream of bringing those amazing childhood memories back to life for a new generation. Starlink Battle for Atlas allows you to take control of a team of star pilots in a massive, open, living star system, <laughs> fighting to save Atlas from the Forgotten Legion. Build your custom starship, and then adapt to new challenges on the fly. Link extra armor and heavy weapons to take on a huge Legion Prime. Search for ancient, ancient secrets lost on the worlds of Atlas, or outrun outlaws through an asteroid field. Freedom is at the core of Starlink Battle for Atlas. Collect your way with both physical Starship collectibles and digital versions available and even take your game on the go using the power of Nintendo Switch. Visit starlinkgame.com for more information and stay tuned for many more surprises over the coming months. Thank you. Oh, there are games too. And Golden Duel 2? <laughs> I'm the studio director at Ubisoft Annecy. It's a pleasure for me to be back on stage after our announcement at E3 last year. And we have had uh, since then a full year of support and continuous development of Steep. Since the very beginning of this project, we have been working with athletes and we have always been impressed by their passion and dedication. We learned how one champion spent 300 days a year on a trampoline to practice for that perfect landing. We learned how others make more than 6 million turns to practice for the 15 they have to race in competition. These athletes, they travel to the world to train with the best, to compete with the strongest, and to challenge themselves with the most experienced and skilled coaches. It's truly a level of passion and dedication that goes well beyond our everyday lives. And when you talk to the very best of these men and women, you realize that there is something they always have in back of their minds at all times. It's a dream that takes years of preparation for just one go at that unforgettable moment. This December, with our first steep expansion, this is the journey you will take. Enjoy. Ah, c'est les Jeux Olympiques. Ah, ça serait sympa, ça. Les Jeux Olympiques. Ah, c'est très bien, je trouve. Oh, si on peut faire du merde. Du merde. Ils sont trop ah oui. là. Je sais plus comment c'est Je peux pas dire non plus. Si tu ne sais toi même pas. Euh... Mais si, c'est dans un tunnel. Euh. Il y a plein de jeux. Non, il y, y a deux mecs à l'avant, un mec à l'arrière, il doit pousser son truc et rentrer dans le machin avant que ça glisse. C'est Far Cry. Oh putain, merde. Oh, C'est... C'est Far Cry 5. Et ça se passe où là cette fois Aux états unis d'Amérique. Comme toujours. <rire> non. <rire> Dans le ça se passe en l'air 
Oh putain, c'est chez les fadas là, le cul cul là. Chez les fadas. Ouais, un petit peu. Oh putain. Mec, comment ils te définissent ça Chez les fadas. Comment ils appellent ça les. Les fanatiques. Non, les. Les maboules. Les maboules, c'est autre chose. Les dégénérés. Oh putain, lui, il est retardé. Oh putain. T'arrêtes du quartier. Il est ici, ton voisin. Ah ouais, lui, il a la voix il a une voix d'arme, mon gars, tu vois. Oh les gars, je suis pas venu là pour rigoler. Si y'en a un qui me pète les couilles, euh, je le démonte, moi. <rire> je veux ton t-shirt, ton pantalon et tes chaussettes. Et tes chaussures. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Il est stock, le mec. Il est stock, le mec. Je <rire> <rire> Je crois que j'entends des coups chez quelqu'un. Oh putain. <rire> Allo. Ah, bonne musique. Ok. Il y a un chien. Ah, il est avec lui le chien Bah, s'il a pas bouffé, oui, sûrement. Ah, mais c'est son poteau lui, non ça sera sûrement un joueur dans l'ulti peut-être. Oh sa mère, mais c'est des tarés. Oh non, on est notre père, Jésus-Christ. Oh. Pendant la musique, je pense que ça va être bien. Ouais, par exemple, si tu travailles à chaque fois, euh, je me fais chier. <rire> Putain, ils ont mis de la peinture rouge. J'avais dit de pas faire tomber les fraises, mon cul. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a des traces de pas derrière lui Vous pensez quoi de la chape à un expo sinon <rire> Le tux. On va les couilles. <rire> <rire> Oh la musique Merci. Wow Boomer Lui va se faire buter Putain il te ramène les flingues Mais non ah, C'est pas le chien de merde de Call of C'est quoi ce chien de fou ah, Moi je vais être Nick Ray, Nick Ray. <rire> T'as tué mon chien, Kono Brian Sons. <rire> oh, Transformers. Oh, quoi Oh, putain Oh putain, ça a l'air d'être débat. Mec, euh, le gameplay va être impressionnant. T'imagines pas les let's play bon, En fait, c'est une espèce de ghost record quoi. Oh, 
Ah, c'est bien que le niveau 2, il y a un cochon. Ah, c'est bien que le niveau 2, putain. C'est quoi Bien que le niveau 2. Oh putain, mec. Enfin. Yo 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 hand it over. I got a hot date. Don't do late. Putain, c'est dommage qu'on nous a spoilé sur les machines là. Ah, j'ai peur là. I want every fucking cop. Non mais si y'a pas Jade, c'est de la merde. Les flics qui tirent dessus. Pan, pan, pan. Je sais. <rire> Sinon, ils ont montré beaucoup de trucs euh, durant le pré-show ou pas Non, c'est vrai. C'est quoi ces jeux de fou Avec ouais, te... oh, Si tu peux te balader comme ça dans le jeu. Euh... Oh. <rire> do it. it Just do it Oh le cri de ah, William Ah ouais <rire> Ils l'ont foutu Je savais qu'ils l'ont foutu dans un des jeux. Ah mais s'il n'y a pas Jade, ça va pas le faire. C'est bien de gagner niveau 2. Et c'est sans Jade, donc c'est pas une suite du premier. Ah, je suis lancé là. Thank you. Thank you very much. Et il pleure le camp. <rire> ça, oh fait... ça fait 10 ans que je voulais sortir le jeu, mais c'est fini. Jackie Michel. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to all the teams who worked very, very, very hard on creating all, all this, all this world. Uh, again, thank you to all these, these teams behind us. I want also to say thank you to Yves with all my heart. C'est là, c'est le dernier jeu qui nous C'est 
to System 3. Our story takes place before the birth of Jade, in a multi-ethnic, multicultural human society, in a distant solar system. It is a time when corporations create hybrids in their labs and enslave them to colonize the stars in order to compete for power and cosmic resources. With our crew of crazy and unforgettable characters, we fight in the name of freedom and the right to determine our own fate among the stars. Et tu fais pas de montage, je mets... Bah oui, on fait pas de montage. <rire> Est-ce que ça fait des vues au moins tes petites vues Oui. Et aujourd'hui, nous avons un seamless online playground où nous pouvons travailler à travers l'espace à la speed of light. Nous pouvons explorer des cités mystérieuses et découvrir des lieux non par nous-mêmes ou avec des amis. Et nous ne pouvons pas participer à la création de cette grande aventure. Join notre Space Monkey Program. Today, and help us make beyond good and evil a world that will challenge us and bring us together for thousand adventure, thrills and fun. And please, if just join, join us. us, this is. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations, you guys. You know, Gabriel and Michelle, you've done a fantastic job. It's amazing what uh, I've been, you have been able to achieve. And you and I, um, and all the teams, um, have the power of creating games that will amaze all the gamers. And I think video games can help us to grow and to get better. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now, I would like to thank everyone here in the right. room and those who are watching us from home. Thank you for listening today ah. and thank you for playing our games. So to all the team okay, at Ubisoft, thank you for your incredible imagination and enthusiasm. enthusiasm. To all of us here, <laughs> we wish you all a lot of fun playing games this year. So thank you very much. And have a great E3. Thank you. Ouais. Enfin, la bien que la bien que enfin. Pretty simple. Bon. Ah là là, Ubisoft. Bon, ils ont vraiment fait une belle confrère. Hein. Okay, wait, look, most importantly, it's, it's not over. The show is not over, folks. We're gonna send you back to the home base behind the theater. We have 30 minutes of an exclusive. What is it? I lost it. Assassin's Creed Origins exclusive gameplay. 30 minutes right now. Let's ah, go back to the home base the the Thank you for watching. It's have not over. E3. Stay tuned. Holy shit! Oh my God. Hey there, folks. What a show and what an ending, huh, guys? Wow. One, that was amazing. amazing. Fantastic. It was jam-packed with great games, and we've got some <gasps> great games to right now. Specifically, South Street <laughs> Origins. I'm Chris Waters, joined by Hanny Duong, Carl okay. Lua, and Ash Ismail hey. from the okay, well, we'll Origins team. Play. And uh, let's get right into it, fellas, here. Without further ado, we've got 30 minutes of exploring the open world. In Assassin's yes. Creed Origins. Yes, for sure. Um, so just to start off, so so we have the context. This is the the demo we have uh, here at E3 uh, that we're letting people play. Um, just so everyone knows, this is uh, this is a living game. We still have a ways to go uh, to finish off the game and completely polish it. So we might see some hiccups uh, along the way, but we fully assume that we're super proud to be here to show it off. Uh, we've been working a long time on this, and, and it's finally exciting to, to be able to, to show it and have people play it and send us feedback. So, so here we're going to go. Carl is going to show off his uh, skills. His gazelle <laughs> rustling <laughs> skills. Yeah. His gazelle skills. Uh, and here we're going to start Look, with... Uh, it's a book. Go ahead. So these camps, mm. these are military locations. Uh, he's going to use Senu, right? That's right. Senu. Senu She's is a beauty. A, yeah, she's a beauty. Uh, she's a great scout. 
Je me suis arrêté dans les airs. Maintenant, Carl utilise ça pour taguer les ennemis, mais aussi pour taguer les opportunités dans le camp. Maintenant, la question pourrait être pourquoi quelqu'un pourrait infiltrer une location en dehors des quêtes. Donc, il y a une quête qui se passe ici. Dans la démo, nous avons désabonné la quête pour que nous puissions nous concentrer sur le monde et sur ce qui se passe avec le monde. Plus tard, il y aura plus de quêtes de quêtes pour que nous puissions kind of spread the, the, the love, le the content. Mais pour maintenant, nous allons juste couper le loose dans le monde et nous allons voir ce qui est en store pour nous ici à ce camp. Maintenant, avec le tagging, Uh, I'm noticing, you know, one of the new features here is that levels are popping up yep. with the enemy's head as you are tagging. Uh, oh, so what, what, what can the player read into those levels as to what kind of challenge they're going to face? Yeah, so, so by going a lot more action RPG, uh, what's happening here is that right now Bayek is level 20 and he's facing off against enemies that are at an equivalent challenge. And so this would be considered a, a fair, you know, challenge fight in this part of the world. Um, and we'll see that as uh, we'll, we'll see later on there's another camp with enemies that are level 25 And you'll see that the feedback slightly different. This is to really clarify to people levels matter gear matters uh, Taking on higher level enemies. It's doable mm -hmm. But they're tougher not only in stats, but they're also tougher in behavior So the higher level they are they have more capacities more abilities stronger weapons So you might want to think twice oh. before taking them exactly. on or get some better gear or oh, this is on fire, yes. Ooh. What are you doing there Carl? I think I'm gonna cause a little bonfire down here. Why not? Because it's not hot enough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just a little more warmth from the bonfire. Yeah. Speaking of which, my feet are on fire. We are in the middle of the yeah, sun. It, right is, here. it is really hot <laughs> out we here. We suffer for your entertainment Listen, viewers. This is the, the live streaming <laughs> equivalent of method acting. Is you know, we Hayek <laughs> is warm right now. You think that hood is like you know yeah. keeping him cool? That that hood what is warm. And, and I will gear. say for the oh God, for the fans line. out there who. Oh, the lion oh, attacking the horse. Attacking the horse. He's got a snack on well, the horse. Oh, it is a distraction. <laughs> He's Not been caged up for a while. So th that's something that we fully embrace in here. So all the animals, oh, all, all, all the humans, all the animals, they have a full life in the world. They have needs. They have wants. Uh, animals, uh, you know, they, they hunt. They sleep. They find shade. Uh, so in this case, this lion has been captured and been put in uh, a cage, and. At this point, it becomes an opportunity for the player. It, you can't always guarantee it, but um, okay. So these guys are—they sense something. They've seen a lion getting released. They've seen. <laughs> kind of hard to miss that one. <laughs> yeah, a fire. There you go, Carl. Oh, something's going well done. Seen well done. All right. Nice job, Carl. So here we go. So we just picked up a, a bow. So this is something that's really important uh, in uh, in Assassin's Creed Origins. It's gear. Um, Oh, Goodbye, lion. Terrible. He was he was so kind to you. Uh, he attacked the you. horse. He should have been attacked. No real lions were harmed. Out of the frying pan into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> so so we picked up a bow, and we saw that it was a it was oh a blue bow, which means that it's a common weapon. So mm -hmm. rarities do matter in this game. Yeah. Uh, the more rare uh, the equipment is, the more attributes it has, the more properties it has. So as opposed to just does does some more damage, it cannot have other properties. Uh, like what is an example? Exactly. So, so other properties could be things like poison tips. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, be, being able to generate <laughs> adrenaline. adrenaline is a, is a concept. Uh, it's a resource in the, the combat system that allows uh, Bayek to unleash uh, a fury of attacks or, or just devastating, overpowering attacks. And you can build adrenaline through the combat system. And uh, some weapons charge differently than others, so this is part of the depth of the combat that we want players to, to mess around with. And this is a whole new combat system, you guys. Boom, headshot. It's, it's way different than the, oh. the feeling before of dazed. Take him out, poor guy, helmet. poor guy. Oh, he's. Ooh, he can cover some ground. So this guy's a commander, that's the, the gold icon. Uh oh. Not for long. There we go. There yeah. we go. Dead. <laughs> So there we go. So here we found a second bow. So in a military location, uh, military locations are great for finding new weapons mm -hmm. uh, and new gear. Uh, aside from playing quests, these are also places to, to be able to, to upgrade new, uh, new weapons. Loot all the okay, okay. We found a bow. Oh, we leveled up, uh, which gives us right. ability points. So we'll, we'll check that out in a second. Check it out now. Yeah, and we found a shield. Oh, cool. Nice All right, so here we're looking at sort of the the skill tree, and uh, I'm seeing three different yeah. branches. Yeah, it's it's more of a graph. Uh, what okay. that means is there are flavors. So on the one side, we, we, what you see here is the the master seer. This is more the abilities that are aligned with uh, manipulation. Mm -hmm. So manipulating the environment, uh, animals, and uh, NPCs. 
Uh, in the center, we have the warrior aspect, which is really delving deep into fight. And uh, the hunter aspect, which is more the stealthy approach of being an assassin or being a ranger. And the idea is players can dedicate themselves or go through the graph however they want. That's why it's a graph, because they can actually uh, kind of oh, spread so themselves they wish. They can really craft their own, uh, their own assassin. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can even focus on one area. If you want to be the absolute ultimate warrior, yeah. The ultimate, ultimate warrior. Oh, you can you can dedicate yourself. So the last ability on each graph, uh, you can keep pumping points into it. Uh, so you can really become that super powerful archetype that you wish to play. You just gotta chase down the <laughs> outfit and you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of player would you be, Ash? What's your personal favorite style? Uh, <sighs> we, should, we should get Carl to, to buy something here. We go for the enhanced warrior bow. Enhanced warrior bow. The warrior bow is super cool. We haven't seen it yet, so maybe we should switch to it if we can. Yep. We did pick up a few new bows, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, in terms of my, my style, I, would, I would say I'm somewhere between a hunter and warrior. I can't choose one or the other. I sometimes prefer stealth, sometimes prefer just duking it out with the guys. Um, that's my style, but that, that's one thing we wanted to cater to is that we have a. Hey, ça fait deux heures que la discussion a lancé. Euh... Non, ça fait une heure. Bah, D'après YouTube, ça fait deux heures. Non, après, le pré ouais. Tu as filmé le pré show Non, il n'y avait rien. Oh, je crois que c'est juste un truc genre de petit style. Donc, l'idée est avec gear. You can actually start crafting again the way you fight, the way you stealth. We can see the crafting at the bottom there. Uh, so just just like combat, there's no longer this concept that you can one shot assassinate just anybody. Mm -hmm. Enemies that are higher level, you'll do stealth damage. But if you want to one shot them, be that true lethal assassin, you have to craft better hidden blades. You gotta work hard at it. What? Now we're going for the boat ride. Yeah. Yeah, trying to cool down in the sea, which I wish I could do right now, because I am on fire. <laughs> Pretty hot. So this is the amazing tech Singapore has been working on the water. I think it's some of the most beautiful water in it's any gorgeous. game. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's completely seamless. You, we can at some point we'll dive underneath. For, for now, um, you know, we have an island here. Let's maybe at some point explore the island. Well, this lake is really big. Yeah, can we just get a sort of look at how sure. how big this is? So this great. is one Take of the things. This lake. Wow. Uh, so all of us. You can see the, the 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 draw distance are absolutely stunning. Yeah, this is for you folks watching. This is running on the Xbox One X. Yeah, it's it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, it, it's really allowing us to showcase what we can push with our engine, the beauty of the world. We really want to do Egypt justice and 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 show it off. Show off our artists. Show off our, our technical. Uh, technical people are programmers who, who bring this to life. It's gorgeous. So here we can see some boats in the distance. This uh, this bigger ship here. There's there's always opportunities. The, the world is alive. Mm -hmm. You know, fishermen are out catching fish. They'll take their their goods to to shore, to docks, take them to the markets, go home and sleep at night. And there's always opportunities for the player here. All right, out for a little swim. And you mentioned <laughs> underwater. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, so oh. Uh, you know, I there see something dangerous. Oh, we saw in there. Oh yes. Oh uh, yes. Oh, what is that? It's a hippo. Oh man, do we have other? He looks creatures? pretty friendly. Let's get closer. <laughs> see what happens. It's a good idea. Very good idea. Oh. Or not. Carl has a great track record for this animal, so uh, nothing can go wrong. But so you've, heard, you've heard about his stories from Singapore, I think. <laughs> uh, so here, so so Ooh, this is a location. Shepherd. Uh, the reason there's loot here, the question might be, why is there loot here? Uh, why the reason there's loot here is actually this island. Um, it's uh, bizarre, quand même, Alexis, quand on regarde ta cam, genre, on voit juste un homme en moi. They use this island as a way to, uh, to stop. C'est le dark Alexis, il y a 0, 1437. And uh, so here we can see there's actually a guard on the other side who's been killed. But, I don't know, but. Maybe the hippo. Not a hippo. <laughs> no, he, he's a good guy. I think we should say a hi. Nice, nice dude. <laughs> he's a nice dude. Oh, I got a spear. I got a spear. Use the spear. Switch the spear. Okay, let's switch. Yeah, because that's the thing. We've seen sort of that uh, that short curved sword. In all the <laughs> but yeah. but there's, there's, there's a variety of weapons, and the sort of the reach <laughs> of the longer weapons is gonna affect how you are in combat. Exactly. Uh, so so we have uh, a ton of types of weapons. 
So eight melee weapons, uh, four types of bows, uh, and this is just the types. Then within them, there's levels, attributes, properties, and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, and of course, it's, it's a completely oh, cool system you here. We're using the bow in water. You should get in um, closer, Carl, and see what happens. Like is so so if, Carl, if Carl was good, he can shoot those birds down. <laughs> <laughs> I got other problems right now. Let me deal with this uh, angry beast. They're just trying to say hi. Okay. You know? I, I feel like you're engaging it on its home turf. Like, maybe they're slower on land. You don't want to... Oh, God. <laughs> and he's using the spear. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> you're smacking the hippo with oh, your spear. Oh, man. Poor hippo. What if it's a mama? Now, you know what? Oh, now you've Got Carl. him angry. He just wanted to say hi. Oh I think boy. if it's a mama, oh Carl's in even more trouble. Yeah. Is it the girl? Keep you're, it. you're vicious, yeah. No hippos were harmed in the making of this demo. No, it's no, no actual, actual no no hippos. Hippos. making of a <laughs> This one's being harmed, though. <laughs> there we go. All right, so when you loot a hippo, <laughs> what are you, what are you gaining from this beast? So, <laughs> what was the purpose of this massacre? Did you ever think you would say that sentence yeah. in public? <laughs> uh, so animals, uh, so, so the fauna of Egypt... Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just throw that guy off the boat. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy. So Sorry. This is... Sorry buddy, there's a hippo just over there, careful that. You can you'll, use a corpse as a float, you'll be fine. Oh yeah, make a seal of them. Uh, so, uh, it's, it's, re it's, it's very well known for Quoi? its its fauna, its its wildlife. Quoi? I need it to represent that properly. Um, and yeah. then we have to say, well, ouais, je faisais un snap en même temps. Level, so this is part of the oh, bien joué de ma part, ça. Materials that you would use to to craft uh, some of your gear. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, so that's. <laughs> oh. oh. You're just a shit no, starter, no, okay. aren't you, it's, Carl? It's just military, it's alright. These are military dudes. Oh, <laughs> oh put, uh, put He's on fire apart. now. <laughs> okay. Ooh, oh, fire on a got... boat. That's, uh, that's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> and I like it. Oh, the fisherman's coming in dangerously. Oh, boy. Is someone else mixing it up over there? There we go. Oh, 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 oh fire. for me, though. So he knew that it was a big deal. Just leave him to tread water. Yeah. So, you know what? If, if the situation was slightly different, I love if how this guy's just along for the ride. He's yeah, just in front of you, like, what chilling. is happening? Yeah. <laughs> the guy's just chilling. The thing is, Bayek is a Magi. Mm -hmm. They are protectors of Egypt, uh, they're protectors of the, the Egyptian way of life, and Egyptians have a high respect for Magi's, and they uh. go to them for help. This is actually feeds into the questing system, actually. So, as a Magi, he was <laughs> gonna let him take his boat for a ride. You do you, Bayek, you do you. <laughs> Set boats on fire. I like it too because he's not like obviously the boat's important to that dude. Like it's probably his livelihood. He's like, look, man, you can you can take this wherever you want, but I'm I need it when you're done. <laughs> yeah, just be sure you bring it back. He'll for a bit. He'll even wait a bit. Eventually he'll leave, but he'll wait a bit for now. He's watching me, Kevin. So courteous. Like, so hey, courteous. in case you need a getaway vehicle, I'm here, bro. Cool. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So so here this is, this is another military camp, but this one's slightly different. This one's a wharf. Uh, here what we what we wanted to show is just what it's like to take on enemies that are much higher level. So mm -hmm. here we'll see some guards, so there's some in the front gate there. So level 25, you see that the badge is red, what? which is kind of telling the player... Yes, Attendez le stream chez moi, please. Try. try your best. Take try. a run at him. Give it a shot. Sounds. But it's going to be a very difficult fight because you're you're not at their level just yet. Eventually, with by, by going through quests, by completing locations in the world, uh, you will level up and up. So. I would recommend just <laughs> yeah, Carl. Trying. Carl, what's your plan here? Are you buddy? gonna take yeah. on this How are you challenge? Do this? Let's. Oh, this guy's. Oh, he's. He looks vulnerable. So let's try a headshot. He's alone. Let's try a headshot. See how much damage it does. Oh goodness, it's not gonna do a lot. He's gonna swat a fly. Yeah, he is. Oh, he is tough. Mec, he's trying to kill you. He's gonna kill you in the head. Get up, Carl. All right. Got this. Got the spear. Oh, Get in in close quarters. And come on, get him, Carl. Oh boy, here we go. I believe in you, Carl. He can do take it. him. He can take him. Honestly, he can do it. Carl, Carl's been practicing. He's very good at the game. Oh goodness! <laughs> yeah, look at that one hit. A, like a stun almost happening. Is that a heavy oh. hit? That I'm oh no! Oh, oh, you, you get an F for uh, effort. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, two hits from me. <laughs> okay. So look, the game is live. This yeah. Is, you know we. This we is take, real gameplay. Exactly. Yeah, we we take, uh, you know, we take games very seriously in the sense of we. You know, we want this to be the, the representation of the game as it is. We want players to see where it is today. So, yes, in 
A demo, play through, Carl died you in front of everybody. You can get her killed. <laughs> but so I've learned my lesson. You don't have to rub it in, Ash. <laughs> in front of everybody. So Good to my lesson. Let's keep moving on. The level 25 is too high. Good to my lesson. Oh, pourquoi c'est joli quand même C'est pas mal. 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 C'est le jeu est bien fait. Avec ce jeu, avec ce jeu, ah oui, avec ce jeu de bois de feuilles là, ce jeu. Et sur le papier, ça a l'air d'être un beau jeu, mais est-ce que est-ce qu'on va se faire chier, oui, sûrement. En plus, c'est normal de se faire chier. Moi, si tu veux, je reviendrai. Je t'entends pas, Alexis. Je me réveillerai à 3 heures. Et je pourrais paniquer ton. Pour ne paniquer ton layout. Après le layout, je m'en fous. Je vais couper le truc là après la de son screen. Tu disais, Alexis, j'ai pas entendu. Moi, je disais, ouais, je reviens à 3 heures. Ah, ok. Pourquoi je crois que ton micro s'est baissé Non, c'est pas grave, je vais remontrer tout à l'heure. Ouais Re, je reviens. Un petit achat. Re. Ah, c'est la tête de Zazmond, il a la même cicatrice. Il reste une demi-heure pour compléter la mini-quête, la pêche miraculeuse sur Pokémon Soleil et Lémy. Je t'avoue que là j'ai moublé, mais... Je reviens, je vais euh, aux toilettes. D'accord.
and some explorations here as Senu scouts out some more locations. So She's a good girl. So here, actually, I'm going to ask Carl to not stealth this one. Uh, the reason we're showing these different locations, different camps and warps, is actually we wanted to show a bit of stealth, we want to show a bit of fight, so I'm going to ask Carl All right, well, to, what, what do we got in our to arsenal this here? One. He needs to earn some <laughs> redemption. Oh, yeah, okay. He needs to this earn time redemption. win this uh, one, Carl. Okay, okay, let's give it a try. For the okay, here I come, out the bushes. Are you going in with the spear? No, I'll just shoot him in the chest first to wake him up. <laughs> Good wake up call. There we go. Wake nice. Okay, all right, all right. Nice dodge. Come on, call. Redeem yourself. Boom. Nice job so far. At some point, yes. just to show the, the one more the, hit and he's dead. <laughs> the yes. versatility yes. of the fight. We can you can take out your bow. There we go dynamically in the nice. fight. Oh, oh my God, that's a bravo. Bravo. Yes. bravo. All right, now is he close to filling up his adrenaline oh, meter here? Yes. He seems like that it's, might it's, be helpful. It's getting yes. there. Yes. It's getting there. I'll try and use it on the big dude. Hey. He is. Humongous. There we go. Okay, just just get in there. Unleash. There we go. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh oh. 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 Um, they, they work for the people that Bayek is, is, is going after, and when I say going after, effectively Bayek is unraveling a mystery. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't know who, who these characters are that he's after, and so he comes to this place, he's actually looking for a contact to gain some info to lead him to eventually uh, his targets. And these are the Ptolemy guards who, fo who work for these people. Uh, Bayek being an, an Egyptian, uh, uh, a Magi, mm -hmm. he doesn't have a very good alignment with these people. Uh, they represent, the, they represent uh, the evil forces that are destroying his homeland. Uh, so, anyway, so uh, these are the people he's after. This area of the world, just to say, if we take a look around, yeah, Carl, this is a beautiful shot of the, the world. Carl, give us a slow pan here. So this is this is the. Ah si, pour un coup de pied, c'est annoncé Edge of Empire définitive édition. We'll do the viewpoint. Just for a sec, we're seeing, you know, Sirius climbing here, a hallmark of the Assassin's Creed franchise. But that rock didn't have any like obvious hand holds on it. Encore du gameplay. Mec, ça fait deux heures de conférence. Bientôt. Ah non, ça fait une heure trente-six là. So, so first we've revamped the control uh, the fluidity of the character. Uh, we've gotten a lot of positive feedback already from the people who played the build that, that it feel like the assassin is really responsive, listening to them, doing what they want. Mm -hmm. And we pushed that to the climbing where we said, you know what? Uh, we should be able to climb any surface. Oh, so, so we've created a tech for, 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 for Bike when he's climbing to be able to put his hands and put the surface. surface. Uh, so we it was the be able to climb anywhere. Uh, we wanted, you know, uh, as, uh, oh, no, as the most seamless now. experience that we can have. Here you can see the world is absolutely beautiful. See that all oh, that distance, that top peak in the distance. You know, we could just go there at some point if we wish to, uh, swimming by boat, by camel, whatever. And, we, and there's free. secrets up there for us. There's really I cool love stuff. secrets. <laughs> there's really cool <laughs> discoveries um, to find. Here, why don't why don't we synchronize? Oh. Right here, the world is. Um, you know, uh, kudos to our artists, our engineers, yeah, our technical so artists. Um, you know, this this world is something. Absolutely, and you know, so synchronizing, you know, historically, is sort of a way to learn more about an area. Sort of clear the fog from an area. Like I mentioned earlier, the fog is like you just you just traveling through the area. Petit aparté. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we wanted to keep the idea of the. We wanted to keep the the viewpoints. Mm -hmm. Uh, as an homage to... Oh, mate, you're gonna loop something, it's pretty cool. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh, look, 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 Villages are great places to, to pick up quests. I think I'm gonna buy one. Uh, and obviously there are many quests inside villages. Uh, these are hubs of content. Um, but anyway, so... Oh, we're actually, we're in a red zone right now. It's 60 miles, the figure of the Bayek. Oh. Yeah, pretty good. Fleeing technology. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend fleeing, maybe. Or you can fight. Or you can fight. He's feeling strong from his last encounter. Yeah. Yep. So I think I'm next to him. Yeah. Uh, 
Putain, ça va être rien avec ce qui veut rien. T'as 170 euros et super top. Oh my god, deadly, beautiful, very efficient. Je pense que c'est parti pour deux heures de conférence ou pas Non mais là la conférence est finie, c'est juste que le big gameplay là. Assassins have had ranged weapons in the oh, past putain, before, but with the bows in Origins, you guys are really trying to expand that. Yeah, yeah, we, we, it, it's a, it's a full-blown third-person shooter on that element. It's, um, we, we really wanted that the play styles we push, so range combat, melee. Ah, non, scout, okay, okay, yeah, well, that this stuff, uh, feels authentic, and if you just want to focus on that, that the game will fully support it and will go deep into that. So, so we've really pushed ourselves to, to develop these gameplays. Uh, the shooting feels great, the bows feel amazing, uh, and there's a bunch of bows we haven't shown. There's the Predator bow, which is kind of like a sniper. Oh, uh, can we talk about the cat? A little oh my god, there's, the bow, a there's a cat! cat. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a great way to wrap this up. Like, we just saw a cat in ancient Egypt. Come on, in guys, ancient Egypt, more, and, and you know what? what? Cats are very important in you ancient Egypt. So, so here, look. So see, okay, look. So systemically, you know, as I said, animals really oh. live in this world. Mm -hmm. And so this cat has... For some reason, an affection towards bias. He loves you, <laughs> or she. Or she's sticking around. Reciprocate. Oh, okay. oh my God. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, you know, it's, it's been a long journey for us. It's absolutely wonderful to, to be able to show off the game and, and have people play it, get their feedback, uh, see their excitement. Uh, I'm super, super proud of the team and, and w what we've achieved. Um, kudos to, to the Singapore team, to the Montreal team, to all the, all the teams that are working on this game uh, all over the world with many people supporting us. Um, it's it's a really wonderful, exciting time for us, and I can't wait for our, our fans to, to play this. Absolutely, and they'll get to play it uh, at E3 here, but uh, later this year, October 27th is October. the release date. Yes, October 27th, so October 27th on PS4 Pro, PS4, Xbox, PC, mm -hmm. and uh, of course a launch title for Xbox One X. Fantastic. Well, if you folks want more Assassin's Creed Origins here at E3, there's going to be streams. Keep it tuned to Ubisoft social channels to find out when and where oh, those are. Sweet. If you want more Assassin's Creed right ah. now, you can head to the Ubisoft YouTube channel and check out the behind the scenes video from the Ubi blog. And uh, for all the awesome games here revealed during that incredible conference, yeah. Ubisoft.com, that's where it's at. So on behalf of Hanny, Carl, Ash, I'm Chris Waters, thanking all of you for watching and have a great week. Peace. Thank you have a great E3. Hey, peace.